If you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you've heard about Meet Jenny. This video is just going to show you a few prompts that you could use in terms of pictures. Take one word, mix it with another one and make a completely different picture like what you're seeing on the screen right now. In order for you to use Me Journey, you need a Discord account. So all you have to do is just register, go into one of the newbie channels and you can get started for free. I think you can make up to 200 photos for free. There you go. I'm going to start with something simple. And in order for you to put a prompt in, you have to start with slash imagine and then you can put anything you want so i'll start with abstract and i'm gonna put a ratio of 3.2 and i want this to be 4k so i'm gonna put a 4k and i'm just gonna press enter and what me journey does it's gonna generate the image but it takes a little bit longer in order for it to generate there you go so we've got our beautiful colors and from here you can choose whatever colors or image you want to work with and all you need to do is we've got this lot here and we've got this lot here so the use is to upscale the image so you can ever choose this image or that image or that image or this image but for this one i'm liking this one so i'm gonna choose i'm gonna upscale three and while i wait for that to happen i'm gonna show you something else you can do you can take the same abstract so i'm gonna do slash imagine and then i'm gonna put it in there but then this time i'm gonna add the word lion again the images they take a little bit longer to load but they load all right so the first image to come out is the one that we done the abstract and we added the lion so it's not the upscale but then i got this lot but i don't like them because i've seen better ones so what you could do you could press this little button here and it will generate another image using the same prompts. Let me see if the other one is done. So something else you could do, you could use this one, this image to make another image on top of it. So basically what you have to do, you just click on it, you open a new browser and then you get this link from here. And then once you get it, you come back on the image again, imagine prompt. And then this time, we're going to put a link in there, the link that we just got from the browser. And then we're going to put a lion. We're going to make it 4K. And then we're going to choose our aspect ratio. So there you go. And I'm going to click gone. So if we come back on this other one, I like this so much better. But let me show you the difference. I'm going to open another window. I'm going to show you the other one that came out before, which was this one. And you see how different it is, right? So we're comparing this to that you see i feel like this one is the colors are just too all over the place here but look at this i love this i just love it i like that i'm gonna upscale it and because i like it something else i could do i could use this one the bottom row it, the v stands for variation and i could press that and i'll get different variations of the same image and if you want to change anything here you can change as well but i don't want to change i just want to see a different variation of the same image a lion is finished oh look at that look at how amazing that is i like that i don't know about you but i love it somebody who wants to make money from this you can literally sell this and make wall up from it you know literally it's beautiful but then ah oh, look our previous upscale this is the one that came from this which is very similar i don't think they have any difference well you got a little bit of blue there a little bit of blue there a bit of white here and you see we've created that from what abstract and 4k but then look at this look at this right from them two words that are very similar Look at how different the image can come out. I want you to see something. These two pictures, these two images are completely different. The only difference is, is this one. We put that prompt, right? For that one. For this one, we put in the same prompt, but we've done it different. First, we've done the colors, and then we've got the link, and we've done the, we done the link, then the lion but you see from literally the same two words you can come up with completely different images it's ridiculous and i'm loving this oh it's beautiful something else so we could go back and could try the same thing again right so we could get abstract but then this time we want to do it for a cut so that's an abstract cut 
and then we're gonna press enter and then we're gonna wait for the image to generate now look at this i'm loving this this is beautiful right this one again is the abstract then the cut but i love the cuts so much better beautiful i love this so i'm gonna upscale that one but you know what i'd like to do since we've got the upscale already this one i like to get the link again but then this time i'm gonna use the same one so imagine we're gonna put our link and then i'm gonna put cut 4k dash dash aspect ratio three two bang well if i compare that to the lion comparing this to that because remember we used the same painting there's no comparison i don't know if it's because the lion is a bigger animal right so it's got the bigger head so it takes in more of the color right where else the cat is a small animal so it's like it's lost in the paint <laughs> it's it's lost in the colors i don't know if that's what you would say but i don't like it i want us to try something completely different this prompt i find it on twitter i can't remember the guy's name but i'm gonna find the account and pin it somewhere there i'll just shut him up so let's try imagine bonsai and i'm gonna make it 4k dash dash aspect ratio three two let's see what we get from that this is what comes up but then what i like like i said to you you can take a prompt with one word add another word and you will change the whole thing it will look completely different so let's try i'm gonna copy that and then i'm gonna pull imagine and then i'll put that but in between it i will add let's say a house right let's see what that comes up with that is nice beautiful we see we had originally so this it came from this to this by just adding one word so what i'd like to do is try another word and see what happens so we could try imagine leave it as bosnia house 4k blah 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 but then this time i'll add the word synth wave and just see what happens oh so look at how this by adding one more word we came from this to that all we changed was one word beautiful all right let's try something else all right i'm gonna show you something cool this one i learned from the same guy on twitter so this one i just do it one word first no link and then i'll put 4k i'll add the aspect ratio enter and just so that we don't have to wait too much i'll show you something different i'll take the same prompt and i'll put it in but then this time i'll add in one more word let's do shoes it's it's the same prompt the only difference between the first prompt or no link and the second one is just that i've added the word shoe i like these images I, I don't know what to make out of them it's got this is the prompt that i didn't add nothing to it i just put the word knowing and that was it and from there i think it's got cameras and if i'm not wrong this are probably accessories it's got a watch to me they're a bit random there's fruits so this is where the fun begins remember we put in the word shoe oh look at that i don't know i like them they're cool it just generates these little images of shoes and i just think that's just cool i don't know what to make out of it but let me show you from a different perspective so for this one i added the word bed so what we've got here we've got a bed on this one here we've got a bed as well but then we've got chest of drawer here so by putting the word bedroom i'm guessing it comes up with stuff that you'd find in a bedroom <laughs> it's cool i like it there you go and i guess this works the same so if you take the word knowing you add food you get sort of the same image but obviously it will be for the same thing for the word that you put in but i'm hoping you can see just what you can do with um mid journey and what's so amazing about it is so simple to use the only the only thing is that it takes a bit longer but uh, i guess i can make as many pictures i can make as many images as i want but then it might take long and when i say long it doesn't take like minutes it might take a minute a minute and a half but i don't mind it so this time 
let's make something different. <laughs> So this time, let's make something different. We'll take a prompt, we'll add imagine. But this time we'll add a word like unwildly, right? Unwildly. And then I'll put 4K, I'll put dash dash A R put space two. So that's the first prompt. So from putting the word unwildly, this is where we go. Which is kind of what I'd expect. So unwildly out of this world. So if we took that prompt and then imagine. And then let's say we put the word what? City. Let's see what it comes up with. Unwildly city. It's something. I'm just amazed how you could take one word. Add it to something else. And you will get something completely different. So this time let's try something else. This time we're going to try a sentence. So you're going to put imagine a mountain. River forest we're gonna make it 4k we're gonna put aspect ratio don't ask me why it's just the same one i always end up using it i guess i don't like my images being square that's it press center so the river is finished nothing special but what we could do maybe we could change it a little bit then we could take the same prompt again that's an exact same prompt here we're just gonna add one more word right we're gonna add the words synth wave and see what we get from that oh but look at that, that is something else. That word synthwave, it just gives you the colors in it. They're just amazing, they're so beautiful. But then what we could do, we could take this, we could choose one that we like. So let's go with this one. So that's three, we're gonna get a variation of it. But then this time, I'm gonna put mountain, I'm gonna put pink river. Maybe if we wanna have the forest a bit denser, don't know if that will make something out of it anyway it's all about trying let's just see what comes out of that so we've just changed it to all right so that's what we got i don't know i don't know if it's because of the weights so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take off the weights by just changing a few stuff i might be able to change this image a little bit so if we could take the two off so they all have the same weight or take off that take that off it's a trying game Right, so what we have now is mountain pink, river. Let's see. All right, our forest is done. Just by changing one thing, this was our second, and this is our other forest. So it's literally the same thing. It should be just the same thing with just a few words changed. But you see, you get a completely different image. I don't know, it's just to show you just by just changing one thing how you could end up with something so different so that's that that's the video done i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you learned something from it it's just the basics please don't forget to give me that like don't forget to subscribe and leave any comments that you've got down below and thank you for watching my name is abigail